title fight between Chris Weidman and Uriah Hall. So here he is, the number one middleweight contender getting set for this 185 pound title fight. He believes this title shot should have come a long time ago, but he has let bygones be bygones. The focus now on seating the champion in dominant fashion and starting a new middleweight legacy of his own. 25 minutes or fewer away from becoming the new champion. We will see how he performs tonight. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time, and in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. tail of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Both fighters identical in age. Weidman is two inches taller. Hall will have a one inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World. It's a first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 17 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Uriah Hall. Oh. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 15 wins, five losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Baldwin, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending UFC middleweight champion, UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, or play my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. in a single collar tie.
can't take many of those, you better check. Takedown defense holds up. Nice. Connects with the right, and both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? That was a cutting leg kick. He slips to avoid the right. Bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on your feet right now. Ball gets back. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for you. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Paul gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Right hook to the head blocked. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Oh, oh he goes with the punch and he lands. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's gonna stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react a little quicker. You ready? You ready? Fight! Big punch lands through the middle. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Hook lands there from Chris Wyman. Same hook, by the way, that he landed against Anderson Silva to become the middleweight champion several years ago. Boy, top flop. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but... This is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no so. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. He's going to start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting choked. His opponent's got double hooks in, now under the chin. It's starting to get deep. Nicely done. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. 44 total strikes have landed for Uriah Hall. And landing.
shooting with 46% accuracy tonight against Chris White. Collar tie there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Oh man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. 30 seconds to go. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Seconds here of round two. Well, you know, I don't like the D very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, a lot of high level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you would. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though. They were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Not there. Circling towards the left now. Stuffs the take down there. How good is his take oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, what a top. This fight's going to be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stand in for it. Close guard. Weidman's got his head looking for a guillotine. Oh, nice guillotine there. And he's out. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. Job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Wyman's got the full mount. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. He needs to push the arm to the side. Get his head against the back of the he's out. Nice job by him there to move it a half guard. Not much resistance from the bottom fight. He's just too good in this position. Look for ground and pound to beat it. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by what? He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC. And defensively, you better be careful. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. 
and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Ready? Fourth round is underway. Ready? You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You gotta get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Nice kick. Oh, a huge one. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Could come at any time. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, oh, how good is that? The diamond punch lands plus to the head. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. He changes the angle. Fun. Well, no surprise, he gets the takedown there. Over and over again. He attacks, he secures, and on we go. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Well, he's got his back now. Just over two minutes now to go. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched club. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, eight seconds of round number four, declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Uriah Well, the next time he fights, it'll be black trunks with gold oh. trim. Congrats to the new UFC middleweight champion, the world. Championship colors will be worn by Vic.